Well, hey, what's up, guys? Long time no see. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Dang. <laughs> Talk about giving me the, making me feel the pressure to deliver <laughs> to my new subscribers. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. For all my new subscribers, this here is Pebbles. She's one of my pugs. I have two. The other one is over there. She refuses to be on camera. She's in a mood right now. She's she's not having any of this nonsense. I was in my pajamas. I was eating grilled cheese and tomato soup, just living my best life. And I heard Chantel say, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Let me rub your belly. Yes, rub the belly. Oh, oh. Y'all right? She's fine. <laughs> you okay? You okay? You good? I don't know what's going on right now. Anyways, <laughs> I heard Chantel say her cat got into her marijuana. I don't know when this was or where this was or how long ago this was, but uh, oh, mm, okay, cool. That brings me to another point. Um, Canada ASPCA, hello. I mean, you need to be comfortable. That's what's important. So long as you're comfortable. We can still see you. It's fine. Canada ASPCA, you know, maybe look into her some more because, uh, <laughs> you know, I forgot to mention yesterday when she was cleaning and how she found a happy pill on the floor. And that, that leads me to something that I find very concerning when you have animals is uh, animals get into stuff. Animals, I can't, you know, if something falls on the floor, I have to grab it super quick or if she doesn't get it, it's gonna be her over there. She's sleeping. She's. I feel like she's judging me. Honestly, Matilda is judging me maybe a little bit right now. Um, but I have to like, I have to grab it quick so my dogs don't get into stuff, you know? Like if I drop, like if I'm taking something, like oh, I remember one time I took ibuprofen and it dropped and I had a heart attack because I couldn't find it. And like the last thing I want is my dogs getting into ibuprofen. You know, I just don't... <laughs> As a pet owner, having pets is great. It's great to have animals. They're great. They're they're great emotional support buddies. They're amazing. But with owning a pet comes a responsibility. People who abuse drugs cannot responsibly own a pet. I'm sorry. It's just, you can't do those things together. Some people might be able to, but I don't think she's one of them. So, it's fine if you wanna destroy your life, Chantal. If you wanna destroy your life, you go right ahead. You destroy your life. I won't stop you. I never, I'm not gonna try. But you leave the cats out of it, man. You leave the cats out of it. Don't be get, leaving your shit out for the cats to get into. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm very upset with that. I just, we don't deserve animals, okay? We don't deserve animals. Taking care of your animals. If my animal, if she poops on the floor because I didn't get up early enough to take her out, I have to clean it up. And I do. I don't want them getting into poop. And I don't want poop in my house. And just because I have five pets doesn't mean I want my house to smell like animals. It's a responsibility. It's a lot of cleaning. It's a lot, it's a lot of work, but I'm down for it. I signed up for it. I signed up for it wholeheartedly. And I have to make sure that nothing falls on the floor that shouldn't be on the floor because certain things are toxic. Luckily for me, I don't do drugs anymore. I don't drink, I don't do drugs. So they don't have to worry about anything like that. And any medications we have, I keep up in the counter, far, far away. It's just called being responsible. It's called being an adult. It's called handling your business. Destroying a person, the person who is on drugs and destroys themselves, that's one thing. But to have them 
have the animals be affected by your drug abuse is a completely different story. And I will not stand for it. I have no patience for it. If you cannot take care of your animals, you need to surrender them. Do the right thing. Drug addiction is awful, but don't drag an animal into it. That's not fair. They don't deserve that. They didn't ask for that. They don't know that some things are toxic. If you leave it out and your cat gets into it, that could be bad. I mean, if she, I don't know what she's on. Like I said, I'm just speculating based off personal experience. And I think a lot of you are agreeing with me. And I don't feel like I'm that far off to where she's on the math. I'm just not. And I mean, she's kind of proven it. I mean, she's sleeping today. She didn't feel like filming. She didn't feel like going live because she's not well. Or what was it that she said? Tired. Needed a nap. Yeah, your body crashed. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Yeah, you crashed. Good for you. This is going to have long-term effects on you. It's going to have, it's going to affect your animals, obviously. It already has. Like you already said that your cat got into the weed once. I mean, what else, what else do you have laying around your apartment? What else is laying around your apartment that your animals can get into that's toxic? What else do you have laying around? Your, your cat could die. This isn't funny. It's not funny. Like I said, I'll say it one more time. You want to destroy yourself. You want to destroy your body. You want to destroy your mind. You want to destroy your teeth, your finances, your reputation, your dignity. That is all on you. You want to do this on the internet? Be my guest. You will be the laughing stock of YouTube. But don't you dare drag your animals into this. Don't you dare drag your animals into your mess. No, 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 no. I will not stand for that shit. No. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I will advocate for animals always. I don't care. And another thing. <laughs> Love your chat. They're so supportive. Last night was funny. Really? Was it funny? Is it fun to watch someone just their mind degrade right before your eyes? That's funny. That's funny. Oh, cute. Yeah. There's nothing more hilarious than watching someone's brain just rot right before your very eyes and watch someone just humiliate themselves on the internet. Granted, she's, this is all on her. Like, she wants to humiliate herself. That's great. She wants to be known to be a train wreck. That's her business. But I love how you guys find it so amusing. You're like, last night was fun and you're just encouraging her to keep doing it because she's so quirky and cute to you. Oh, last night was so fun. I never laughed so hard in my life laughing at her expense. I mean, it, it, you gotta encourage her to keep doing this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I thought so, I thought so. That's nice, that's that's great. Personally, if my friend was doing this, I would be like, you need to stop, you're gonna regret this. You don't want this on the internet. The internet is forever. <sighs> Anyways, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just, I want to hold her accountable to her actions. And I caught that and I was like, no, no, this won't, no, not okay, not okay. Um, you do deserve the visits to your house and you could try to clean it up, but hopefully they're smarter than you and they'll see that your home is not safe and fit for animals because honestly, it's not. Your house is not fit for animals. You've proven that. You take care of your animals. Pete's, cats require fresh water. What are, you, what are you trying to do? Like, take care of your animals. You should put your animals first. They don't, they can't speak. They can't communicate. So we communicate for them. We advocate for them. We take care of them. They, re, they depend on us. They depend on us for everything. And they give us their unconditional love. The least you can do is wash out the water dish. I mean, that's the least you could do. And clean the litter boxes. Like, that's, that's gross. That's toxic. God. It's Cat Care 101. Basic things you have to do for your cat. 
and for fuck's sake, take your animals to the vet. My God, when's the last time they've been to the vet for a checkup? It's ridiculous. No excuses, none. I will not allow any any excuses for this nonsense, this, this, this fuckery. There is no excuse for any of this, ever. Like I said, I don't care what you do, but don't you dare bring those animals into it. They didn't ask for that. Anyways, that's all. She's a sleepy. Let's get on her. And here's what she really came here for. She's like, oh my God, get the light off me. I don't like the light. <laughs> Hi, puppers. <laughs> Hi, puppers. You're about to sleep. I can tell your eyes are like rolling in the back of your head. Oh, it's your puppers. Oh, the puppers all the time. <laughs> Dude, we don't deserve animals, okay? Can I just say that? We don't deserve animals. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, I thought I'd feature them because you haven't seen them in a while. You deserve more from me. <laughs> so anyways, everyone have a great night and I'll see you later. Ta-ta! What is ta-ta? Ta-ta! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>